For grown-ups and children, the seaside still remains the most popular place for holidaymaking. The sound of surf breaking on a beach can be music to the ears after the din of city traffic. Today, on a deserted stretch of Brighton Beach, Pathé Pictorial takes you back over the years for the story of the bathing suit, old and new. In a 40-year cycle, the bathing suit has come down a long way. At one time, there used to be a lot of it. Back in the 1910s, bare knees were just something to be whispered about. These World War I pin-up fashions may soon become the new look on the beaches. But whether there is going to be more or less of it, this look will remain the same. The bathing suit has marched with the times. Fashion designers began to dictate its style. Less and less was it used for swimming, more and more for being just seen in. All the time, the male eye never strayed from watching the bare knees trend, a revolutionary process that had every man's approval. In the 1940s, somebody with an eye for figures estimated that the average girl spent only five hours a year swimming, less than a fiftieth of the time she spends actually in her bathing suit. Today, the bathing suit cycle has reached the crossroads stage. Fashion trend now is for fuller, more frilly costumes, but whatever turn the bathing suit takes, this style is not out of the reckoning. 